Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how it is that I'm building out a studio here in the back of my garage. So uh, basically when we had this house built, we had our uh, three car garage uh, built on, but then we also had this large part behind me here built on. It's about 20 by 20 feet. And uh, we had the outlets put in up above onto the ceiling. Um, they're actually on separate circuits so that we can run 2000 watts of power off of each of those. Um, and a uh, quick shout out to Cadence Homes in Utah for building this amazing home for us. Um, absolutely phenomenal. And they did a lot of custom work in here for me so that this would be usable as a studio space, uh, including insulation and all kinds of other great stuff. So um, awesome home builder if you're looking for a home in Utah. So now over here on the back wall behind me, that's gonna be the white screen, part of the cyclorama. Over here, you can see that the green screen is actually now built. And then over here on this wall, we're going to have our podcast station. I'm gonna be doing a separate video on building the podcast station because it's gonna be quite different from the cyclorama walls. But here, let me show you this. We have this big six foot swing away door. We're gonna be putting a sheetrock on the back, so don't worry about that. But we've got wheels on the back we can actually close this big six foot door. This is so that we can get pianos and set pieces and all kinds of other stuff in there. Uh, but basically, if you look here behind me, um, that whole wall I framed in and then um, built the door onto, and then also put these uh, sound blankets up for um, better acoustics. You'll see there's a couple of gaps there uh, that are built in. Those are actually gonna be, one's gonna be a little stick out table because it's a smaller studio space, we wanted to build the table into the wall so people can set scripts and coffees and of course, you know, any kind of other things that they need to on that little table. And then above that is gonna be another little stick out table, but it's gonna be a lot smaller. And that's where we're gonna have the charging port. So charging B-mount batteries, charging, um, you know, camera batteries, uh, even uh, phone charging ports and things like that. That's where that's gonna be. So, uh, so we've insulated this back wall uh, for heat, but also for acoustics. And then we've also put the, sound blankets up onto it. We've got a separate entrance right here into the studio. And then we've got um, its own lights up here. We're also gonna be soundproofing the ceiling. We're also gonna be putting in a grid system up above. Again, those are gonna be separate videos because it's gonna be a lot of stuff that's totally separate. So let's dive right into how we did this green screen cyclorama wall. If you're looking at building your video production business or trying to just make more money in your video production business, please check out my courses on thecinemachine.com. There I go in depth into how to market your business, how to acquire new clients, the equipment, and all kinds of other stuff that you're gonna to need to have a successful video production company. All right, so we're gonna take our cove piece that we've cut out here out of our plywood pieces. These were cut out of two by four plywood pieces. We can get uh, four pieces out of that. Now here we've got this little concrete lip here where the footing or where the foundation um, comes up. So we've cut a little notch out for that. You won't have to do that if you don't have any of that. But we wanna for sure make sure that this is level. So we'll level it and then we'll be able to mount it. Okay, so we've got our cove pieces in there, all nailed down, nice. Um, this piece right here is gonna give us a nice solid backing for our wall. We're gonna to want to place that in there, nice and level. That is very surprising, it is perfectly level. Let me just make sure, push down against all the pieces. The other nice thing is, again, we're not gonna have to mud and tape as much because this lip on here is very, very thin. It's like an eighth of an inch or so. So that's gonna save us some precious time later on, which is going to be much appreciated. And spend that time somewhere else, like putting in our grid system. So, we need to tap this side down. Okay. 
All right, good. I'm gonna take our roller. I'm going to go ahead and attach this. Woo, I think I hit the concrete there. All right, guys, here we go. We are continuing our cyclorama wall all the way across this back wall here of the studio. So I'm taking some liquid down. I'm gonna put the liquid down on the wall end and then on the ground end. That's gonna help secure this. Okay. So we're gonna check it. Double check that it's level. Throw some nails into it to help secure it while it's drying on there. We're going to place these every two feet. So, our next one. So we're just going to continue that line all the way down and we're going to put some braces in. We'll be ready to put the top around. Cut our cross supports here. Now we're going to air nail them in. Okay, so now we've got all of our supports in. Nice and sturdy there. Now we're actually ready to lay down our wall piece. All right, let's go see if we can't mess something up. Now, before I lay that center piece, I'm actually gonna mark right here on this piece where this cross member support is because I'm going to air nail into that and that'll hold a lot better than this thin plywood will. So now I know that this one is right here. So that's where I'm aiming for with the gun. And then I'll aim just a couple inches lower then a couple inches higher again. So I get up to the other side. They're out from the wall. 25 and a half inches. So we're going to mark the floor. Over here at 25 half inches. That way we know that the end of this board is aiming for that mark. So we're going to finish off our bead of liquid nail on the floor. And here. Each of these cross member bars. OK. 
Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, so here we are on the studio build. If you'll remember, we put this guy down. There was a little bit of a gap here. So what we did was we took some of this stuff, joint compound, took some tape, and then we put a little bit of joint compound down on here and then put the tape down. You can kind of see it right there. Put the tape down there in between the two boards. And then we went ahead and put more joint compound over that. I've just now lightly sanded it. So now we're ready for a second coat of it here, which should cover up and really seal that joint really nicely. There's also a little bit of a, a ridge here. So we're gonna put some joint compound down all along here, and then we're gonna take our sandpaper uh, tomorrow and sand it down. We're gonna do the same thing on the top, and then we should be about ready to paint it. So. Getting pretty exciting. We're making some good progress here. So we now have our cyclorama curved wall portion completely laid. We've also done our tape and mudding here along the seam and along the walls and the floor and the seam and the concrete as well. And so now we're just taking a sanding block. We're sanding everything smooth and then we'll be ready to clean the whole area in preparation to put our primer on. And then after primer, we can finally put our chroma key green on. So. We are making good progress. All right guys, so here we are, that final glorious moment of putting on our chroma key green color onto our site there on the wall. So we've got Roscoe video paint, chroma key green, Let's get to it. All right, you guys, here we go. We're still doing the studio build here. You can see the green screen cyclorama wall behind me is pretty rough right now after the first coat of paint, but we're gonna put the second coat on and I can already tell that we're very likely gonna have to put a third coat on. So a uh, little bit bigger of a process than I had hoped. I had hoped the two coats would do it, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes after the second coat. It's definitely going to adhere better uh, now. All right, guys, so here's the uh, here's basically the final product. You can see back here, right in there, I'm gonna need to put a third coat on. There's a couple little white spots actually on the cyclorama walls, having a tough time getting that paint to stick on there, but it should stick now that it's dry if I get a third layer on there. Uh, but that's how I built the cyclorama wall. And it's gonna be awesome for all kinds of visual effects and um, even talking head interviews, you know, stuff, uh, all kinds of stuff that we do. We've done some visual effects and some CGI tests already with it just the way it is right now, and it's had awesome results. So it's great to have a permanent uh, fixed place uh, where we can do all that stuff right back here in the studio. So obviously anytime that you're walking out onto the green screen and you don't need to see the flooring, uh, we're gonna actually put sound blankets down for people to actually walk on and step on. Um, it's gonna help acoustically, but it's also going to preserve and not dirty up our green screen so that we're not repainting it all the time because that is a thing in a studio. So I hope you got something from this, guys. Stay tuned. We've got lots of other videos coming about how we're customizing and building out this studio space, and I hope you'll get something from it. Stay tuned.